Now, prior to the meeting in Delhi, the UN Secretary General urged G20 leaders to do more against a climate crisis, which in the words of Antonio Guterres is spinning out of control. The harmful impact of emissions has forced the auto industry to switch to electric vehicles, ideally powered by renewable energy. But the batteries have plenty of room for improvement. Many consumers would be happy to switch to a car that doesn't emit carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. But they're put off by drawbacks a lot of electric vehicles share. You can't drive far on a full charge, and charging up takes time. The conventional lithium-ion batteries that power today's electric vehicles are bumping up against physical limits. And sure, there will be improvements in current lithium-ion batteries, but there will ultimately be a limit to how far you can take that. Conventional e-vehicle batteries have a positive and a negative electrode. These are immersed in a liquid called an electrolyte that can transport lithium ions. There's also a separator layer in between to keep the battery from short-circuiting. When it's charged and ready for use, the lithium is stored on the negative side. As the battery discharges, producing electricity to power the car, it turns the stored lithium into ions that move through the liquid electrolyte medium, crossing the separator to the positive electrode. In a solid-state battery, the liquid electrolyte is replaced by a solid electrolyte made from high-tech materials. Lithium ions move through it in a similar way. But because the electrolyte is solid, short circuits grow much less likely and the separator can be removed. Solid-state batteries can be made smaller than those that use liquid electrolytes because you can replace the material in the negative electrode with a thin layer of pure lithium, which has a much higher energy density. As how much energy I have in my battery per kilogram of mass. And roughly right now, that is about 250 watt-hours per kilogram. Now, if we can have a solid-state battery, there's been some prototypes which are around 400, maybe 500 watt-hours per kilogram. So we're talking about a doubling of the energy density, which would equivalently give you a doubling of the range of your electric vehicle. Solid-state batteries can therefore carry a higher charge in less space, and small ones are already used in devices like smartwatches or pacemakers. They also charge faster and are less likely to catch fire or explode. But despite headlines that they're destined to revolutionize the electric car segment, some major engineering and production challenges still have to be overcome. Let's talk some more about these batteries with Derek Williams from DW Science, whose report you just uh, saw. Uh, welcome to the studio, Derek. A battery is the heart of an electric vehicle, let's put it that way. And just as any heart, this battery doesn't last forever, and replacing it is very expensive. When will costs come down? Well, that's kind of the million dollar question, isn't it? I mean, on the one hand, we're increasing capacity, our, our manufacturing capacity at a tremendous rate is expected to double, more than double by the year 2030 in terms of lithium ion batteries. And um, But at the same time, we're gonna be running into, into kind of some, some, some breaking things, which could be, for example, lithium. Lithium could prove to be a bottleneck. Mm -hmm. uh, there's plenty of lithium there, but we have to still get it out of the ground. So there are these, there are these factors that are making it unsure. On the one hand, we've got massive scale up, which should bring costs down. On the other hand, we've got potential bottlenecks. So lots of moving parts. Let's keep talking about a big issue here. A big issue among price and longevity is range. How long will range be an issue? Well, that's one of the things that these solid state batteries have been designed to uh, to address one of the issues, along with safety in particular. Um, the, 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 the ability to, to charge them and have them run for up to 1,100, 1,200 kilometers. Um, the question, a big question moving forward is gonna be whether we actually even need that um, because as, as we build out our charging infrastructure. Right. But, um, but at the moment, it still happens to be quite an issue and that's an issue that solid state batteries can possibly address. And on that note, Toyota claimed only a couple of weeks ago that it could make a battery uh, that would have a range of 1,200 kilometers uh, and which could be charged in around 10 minutes, a solid state battery. Problem solved. Well, it sounds that way, but you know, Toyota has also made promises before that it hasn't lived up to in terms of launching solid state 
uh, electronics and, and solid state batteries. Um, I, I would say that, that just because something works in the lab doesn't mean that it works necessarily in real life. And I think Toyota and other car makers, as they develop this technology further, are going to probably start with demonstrator plants and demonstrator models because no car maker likes a recall. And, and that's this uh, installing pit solid state batteries in cars has the potential to do that. So I think that um, I would wait and see actually if Toyota manages to launch this in the next three to four years as promised. Derek Williams of DW Science. Derek, thank you very much.